people express their feelings, emotions, and ideas through various kinds of media. In ancient times, before the dawn of civilization, men used to express it on the wall of their caves so that they could build their confidence level. Thus, we can consider mural art as the first step towards civilized society in the history of mankind. In Nepal, art has been developed in various forms gradually along with religion and culture since ancient times. Our ancestors had left us lots of examples to prove this historical fact in the form of bahals, bahils, temples, sculptures, stone crafts and metal crafts, especially in the Kathmandu Valley. Poba painting is one another best example reflecting the Nepalese people's high involvement in art, which was developed exclusively by neighbors of the Kathmandu Valley, the capital city of Nepal. Namaste, this is Uzo Bharacharya. I am a Poba artist working in this field for more than 18 years. I have participated in more than dozens of national and international shows. Poba is a portrait depicting the Buddhist deities on canvas delivering spiritual, religious and iconographic message based on Buddha Dhamma. The word Poba is derived from a Sanskrit word Patta Bhattarak where Patta denotes a paper sheet or canvas and Bhattarak is the honorific term used for one's Yidam deity or Guru. Moving back to the Poba paintings of the 13th to 16th century, the words Patta Bhattarak, Patra Bhattarak, Pati Bharanda, Pati Bahara can be seen inscribed on the Pobas of that period. These evidences prove that the word Pobha must have traveled a long way to come in this form and very intensive research is required to explore the origin of the word Pobha. Talking about the origin of Buddhist art, lots of the art historians have their own views on when and how the Buddhist art has been started. Some of them has claimed that Buddhist art was started after the Mahapari Nirvana of Lord Buddha, but the ancient text suggests to us that the Buddhist art has already been started in the lifetime of Lord Buddha. Uh, there are some of the very few uh, interesting stories about when the Buddhist art was originated. One of them is of, uh, of the two kings of Magadha and Lauruka. Uh, King Bimbisar and King Udriyana. They, both of them were very good friends and they often used to exchange their gift uh, with themselves. And once King Udriyana, he gift, gifted his friend King Bimbisar a very precious one uh, and in return King Bimbisar thought to give him a scroll painting of Lord Buddha. And King Bimbisar, he made one of the artists to make the uh, portrait of Lord Buddha but when the artist tried to sketch the uh, portrait of Lord Buddha because of the light emitting from the body of Lord Buddha he can't see him properly so seeing that difficulty Lord Buddha made himself so that uh, his image could be reflected in the lake and made the artist easier to uh, paint and it is believed that that painting was the very first painting in the history of Buddhist art. One another story uh, which gives a proof that Buddhist art has already been started in Buddha's lifetime is uh, based on the Divyadana and according to Divyadana uh, it is believed that Lord Buddha made his one of his best disciples, Mot Galyayana, to draw the painting of the Wheel of Life, which is very much popular in 
popular nowadays in the Bilwaha Bihar of Rajgriha. As Maud Galyana was very aware of the cause of the sufferings of the uh, sentient beings and because of his psychic power he can travel to the six realms and uh, also can feel their pain and uh, pleasures. So seeing this uh, quality, his quality, Lord Buddha uh, directly in, uh, instruct him to draw the painting of Wheel of Life so that he can explain the uh, cause of the cyclic existence by depicting the two as symbolic figure and the uh, realms of existence. Buddha's traditional Pauvha painting once painted a spiritual purpose and commissioned by a patron to gain religious merit is nowadays not only created for religious purpose but for the art collectors and museums who value the work of art and artist creativity. Contemporary artists are now continuing the Neva style by expanding their artistic expression through new compositions, medium and stylistic creativity in the traditional Pauvha painting, keeping the traditional form alive till day, which is one of the versatility of Neva artists to incorporate the best in their art.